This presentation will discuss care requirements and descriptions for 15 plants commonly found in Central Florida. Tropical plants are grown for unique foliage or flowers. They can come in a large variety of shapes, forms, and colors. For best results, plan for protection from hard, extended freezes in a highly selective microclimate location or in containers that can be moved to a protected area such as a greenhouse, garage, or shed. Tropical plants are best suited for areas with low or no chill hours and might also be light sensitive. Prior to planting in the ground or in a new pot, dig the hole at the same depth as the container but at least twice as wide. Use mulch to help with water retention and to slowly enhance the soil as it breaks down. Tropical plants have highly variable fertilizer and irrigation requirements, so be sure to research the exact species prior to planting for the landscape. Most tropical plants prefer enriched soil that is well drained with plenty of moisture. Compost and slow release fertilizers are ideal to provide a steady continuous stream of nutrients and to minimize labor. Foliar sprays and micronutrients are also recommended when plants exhibit signs of deficiency. Drip irrigation or hand watering is best to account for changes in growth stage and seasonal or daily weather changes that can cause moisture loss. Scout tropical plants routinely. Prune and deadhead in spring to remove cold damage or routinely to remove dead foliage and blooms. Mites, mealybugs, scale, thrips, aphids, and spider mites are sometimes present. However, most insects can either be hand removed or treated with Bacillus thuringiensis, a properly labeled synthetic product, or natural oil and soap sprays. Follow all label instructions. Control major infestations by removing infected growth. Cultivars and rootstocks with nematode resistance should be selected. Fertilize, irrigate, and prune effectively to decrease likelihood of pest and disease issues. Refresh mulch routinely. The genus name aloe is derived from the Arabic name. It is a member of the Lilaceae family, which includes cast iron plant, daylily, liriope, tulips, and more. It is sometimes confused for aloe barbadensis, or other species of aloe. Plants are evergreen monocots up to two feet tall and three feet wide, with gray-green succulent leaves and short, soft spines. It thrives in zones 9 to 11 and has spring and summer blooms. Aloe vera requires more water and full sun. It will spread to form a clump and does best in full sun to part shade. Aloe vera is drought tolerant and should not be overwatered. It is susceptible to chewing insects and the sap is used medicinally for burns and cuts. Aloe vera can be used in xeriscapes, containers, borders, beds, as an accent, or as a ground cover. Plants are propagated by division or rarely cuttings or seeds. Angel's trumpet is the most common species of Bergmansia, but Devil's trumpet is also available. The genus name was formerly classified as Datura. Bergmansia is a member of the Solanaceae family, which is commonly called the nightshade family and includes tomato, peppers, potato, eggplants, and tobacco, and plants with medicinal value. Bergmansia grows up to 15 feet tall and 15 feet wide in zones 9 to 11. Plants are evergreen dicots with year-round blooms, fast growth, and low wind resistance. Plants in the Brugmansia genus are also poisonous narcotics. Brugmansia can become a medium to large shrub, but can also be pruned to the shape of a small tree. Plants should be irrigated to establish. Brugmansia has moderate drought tolerance when established, but also flowers most with consistent moisture. They are susceptible to pests and disease and grown from cuttings or seeds for aroma as an accent or specimen in containers or for borders. There are several flower colors. Bromeliads are members of the Bromeliaceae family, which makes it related to pineapples and Spanish moss. They grow best in zones 8 to 11 and have simple, strap-like, spiny leaves arranged spirally in a rosette shape. Bromeliads have variable size but are usually up to 2 feet. Bromeliads have variable light and moisture requirements but most usually prefer shade. Plants are drought tolerant and some species are Florida native. There are many genus, species, and cultivars of bromeliads as seen here. They have a variable bloom season and very spiny leaves. Bromeliads will spread to form a clump and should not be overwatered or planted in places with stagnant air or low air circulation. These things will lead to crown rot, hosting mosquito larvae, and scale. 
Another possible pest includes mealybug. Bromeliads usually die a year or two after flowering, but produce pups at the base of the mother plant, which can be used for propagation. Bromeliad can be grown for containers, borders, and ground covers. Copperleaf is also called Joseph's coat because of the biblical story of Joseph and his coat of many colors. Acalypha is the classical name for a nettle with similar leaves and the species Wilkesiana is named after Admiral Charles Wilkes, an explorer of the South Pacific. It is a member of the Euphorbiaceae family which includes snowbush, croton, poinsettia, and more. It thrives in zones 9 to 11 and is an evergreen dicot. Leaves are simple, spirally arranged, ruffled, colorful, and mottled with serrated edges. It becomes a medium to large shrub up to 12 feet tall and 8 feet wide. Copper leaf prefers consistent moisture. Copper leaf prefers well-drained soil and has moderate drought tolerance and fast growth. It is susceptible to aphids, mites, scale, and caterpillars. Copper leaf should be routinely pruned to prevent lankiness and remove dead branches. It is grown as a hedge, accent, specimen, and in containers. There are several color variations. Croton's genus name is derived from the Latinized common name Codijo, and the species name means variegated. Croton is a member of the Euphorbiaceae family and is primarily grown for foliage in zones 9 to 11. It is known for brightly colored, leathery, simple, spirally arranged leaves and will become a small to large shrub. Croton prefers full sun to part shade, but prefers part shade or protection from midday sun. Plants are up to 8 feet tall and 3 feet wide and can be pruned to be kept compact. Croton's have both male and female flowers and produce fruit. The male flowers are white with 5 small petals and 20 to 30 stamens. Female flowers are yellowish and have no petals. The fruit is a capsule about a third of an inch in diameter with 3 seeds inside. There are hundreds of varieties of different growth habit leaf shape, size, and coloration pattern. Croton has moderate drought resistance and prefers fertilizer and moisture in extreme drought. The sap stains and is poisonous. Croton is grown from cuttings for containers and planters as a hedge, accent, and in beds. Dendrobium is commonly called by genus name only. The genus name is derived from the Greek words dendron, meaning tree, and bios, meaning life, which refers to the epiphytic nature. It is a member of the Orchidaceae family, which are epiphytic monocots related to other orchids, including Phalaenopsis and Vanilla. They prefer part to full shade and are various sizes, half foot to six feet large. Dendrobium has spring to fall blooms and liquid fertilizer is ideal. Dendrobium grows best in well-drained soilless media in zones 9 to 11. Overwatering might induce pup production and plants should be watered and fertilized less in winter and more in spring. Dendrobium is grown from division, tissue culture, or rarely seeds for interiors, containers, shade houses, or greenhouses. There are many species and cultivars as seen here. The genus name Ficus is a Latin name for the common edible fig. They are members of the Moraceae family, which includes mulberry, hemp, and cannabis, and more. Ficus does best in zones 8 to 11 and is a dicot with variable size and variable light and moisture requirements. They are usually drought tolerant, but some are sensitive to fluctuating moisture and light levels. There are many species and cultivars of ficus. Most ficus species are fairly fast growing and can be pruned to shape. Some produce edible fruits and common pests include aphids, scale, nematodes, and caterpillars. Micronutrient deficiency might also be an issue. Ficus plants are grown from seed, cuttings, air layers, and grafts as a hedge for shade, containers, interiors, and climbing accent. Roots are strong, so do not plant near septic tanks, houses, or sidewalks. Monstera is also called split leaf philodendron, Swiss cheese plant, or ceramon. Leaves are sometimes confused for philodendron, but it is not true philodendron, which is a member of the same family, Araceae. The Araceae family are known as aeroids and are related to Caladium, Alocasia, Diffenbachia, and Pathos. Monstera is an evergreen in zones 9 to 10. Leaves are simple, alternate, leathery, glossy, and perforated with oblong split holes. It has a vining, climbing habit and moderately fast growth up to 50 feet. 
It is primarily grown for foliage. Monstera appreciates well-drained, moist, fertile soil and can be fertilized for faster growth. Leaves are sometimes eaten by lubber grasshoppers, but usually unaffected by most other pests. It requires consistent moisture. All parts are poisonous, except for perfectly ripe fruit. Monstera is grown from seeds and cuttings as a ground cover for edible fruit and as a climbing accent. Variegated Monstera is available. Nightblooming Cirrus is the name shared by several cacti that are different species, and the species is actually the same species as certain types of edible dragon fruit, also known as Pattaya. It is a member of the Cactaceae family and is spiny, thorny cactus with a climbing habit up to 40 feet that does best in zones 9 to 11. Plants are evergreen with summer blooms that only open during the evening. Nightblooming Cirrus has fast growth and is drought tolerant but should be irrigated to establish. Plants are salt tolerant, blooms are fragrant. Night blooming cirrus is grown from seeds and cuttings as a climbing specimen or accent for aroma and for edible fruit. Plants are known to climb and potentially overgrow fences, walls, utility poles, and trees. Persian shield species name Diarianus refers to the English botanist Sir William Turner Thistleton Dyer. It is an evergreen dicot member of the Echinthaceae family, which also includes shrimp plant. Persian shield prefers part to full shade in zones 9 to 11. It has iridescent purple leaves with serrated edges and grows up to 4 feet tall and 2 feet wide. Plants usually have hard dieback with frost and should be pruned to encourage branching or in spring to remove frost damage. Persian shield is grown from cuttings for interiors, containers, accents, and beds. Phalaenopsis is called simply by its genus and is sometimes called moth orchid. The common name refers to its moth-like appearance. The genus name is derived from Greek words phalaena, meaning moth, and opsis, meaning appearance. It is a member of the Orchidaceae family and is related to other orchids, including dendrobrium and vanilla. Phalaenopsis is an epiphytic evergreen monocot in zones 10 and 11 that is up to 1.5 feet tall. Liquid fertilizers Liquid fertilizer is ideal and plants prefer part shade and well-drained moist soil. Moth orchid blooms in winter to spring. Phalaenopsis should be fertilized routinely during growth and with bloom booster fertilizer in fall. Epsom salts is also a helpful fertilizer. There are many species and cultivars. Bacteria and viruses are common and be sure to keep water out of the plant crown. Water in the crown can lead to crown rot and should be avoided. Plants are grown from division, tissue culture, or rarely from seeds to be grown indoors, containers, and in shade or greenhouses. Sansevieria is also called snake plant or mother-in-law's tongue. Based on molecular data in 2017, the scientific classification of Sansevieria plants changed from being a member of the Agavaceae family to the Asparagaceae family. All plants with the former genus name of Sansevieria are now in the Dracaena genus. Sansevieria is grown primarily for foliage in, in zones 9 to 11. Plants are salt and drought tolerant and grow in highly varying sizes depending on species and cultivar. Sansevieria prefers full sun to full shade and has tough, simple, flat, thick, long, strap-like leaves. There are many species and cultivars of snake plants. Some species of Sansevieria are considered invasive and some species have showy or fragrant blooms. Plants prefer well-drained soil and should not be overwatered. Overwatering will cause root rot. It will spread to form a clump and mites, thrips, and chewing insects are rarely serious. Sansevieria is grown from division or cuttings for indoors as a ground cover and pots and containers as a xeriscape plant or accent. Shrimp plant is a member of the Acanthaceae family and related to Persian shield. The genus Justicia is named after James Justice, a Scottish horticulturist, and the species Brandigiana is named after Sith Brandigi, an American engineer who studied Californian and Mexican plants. Shrimp plant is an evergreen and has year-round white flowers with various colored bracts. It prefers full sun to part shade in zones 9 to 11. Plant in full sun for more flowers. 
Shrimp plant has fast growth and can be up to six feet tall and three feet wide. Shrimp plant prefers very moist, fertile, and well-drained soil and is susceptible to caterpillars. It can be pruned and fertilized to induce branching, prevent lankiness, and stimulate new flowers. Shrimp plant can be grown as an annual from cuttings and division to attract butterflies and hummingbirds, as an accent, specimen, and in beds and borders. Staghorn fern's genus name is derived from the Greek words platus meaning board and charis meaning horn. It is an epiphytic evergreen member of the Polypodiaceae family, which includes resurrection fern. Staghorn fern is up to 2 to 6 feet wide and prefers zones 9 to 11, part to full shade and well-drained soilless media. There are many species and a few cultivars. Do not overwater staghorn fern. Banana pills are an easy fertilizer and liquid fertilizer is recommended. It is susceptible to scale, ants, mites, snails, and fungus. Staghorn fern is grown from spores or pups as a specimen or accent on walls or as hanging decoration. Tea plant's genus name cordyline is derived from the Greek words cordal, meaning club, referring to the roots. The scientific classification changed from the Agavaceae family to the Asparagaceae family. Tea plant thrives in zones 10 to 11 and will become a medium to large shrub up to 6 feet tall and 2 feet wide. It has colorful, spirally arranged narrow, strap-like leaves and spring blooms. Plants prefer moist soil and part to full shade. Tea plant has fast growth and requires less water in fall and winter. Compost, fish emulsion, and slow-release fertilizer are best, however, do not over-fertilize. Over-watering or over-fertilization causes chlorosis. Scale, thrips, mealybugs, spider mites, and nematodes might be a problem. Spider mites are a problem, especially in winter. Tea plant is grown from cuttings and rarely from seeds for accents, borders, specimens, and in containers. This concludes the Tropical Plants of Central Florida presentation.